There's so many big things in life that happen to you that really knock you off your feet. Um, and this is one of those. Anissa was born a healthy little baby and um, she got to be about age 15 and all of a sudden she started dropping her pencil at school. Her toothbrush was flying out of her hand. So fast forward about six months to maybe even a year, she continued to experience these symptoms of what you would call myoclonic jerking. I finally took her to a neurologist and the neurologist said she has uh, what they call juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, treatable. Um, it, she should grow out of it eventually. A month later, she had her first tonic-clonic, which is a full seizure. It was at that point that I realized something really dark is happening inside my daughter. In her junior summer is where I really noticed something was not right. They kept telling me it was epilepsy. And I was like, this seems like it's something beyond your typical epilepsy case. So it ended up um, that we got genetic testing and we were waiting for it to come back and it takes a really long time. Um, I came home, told her sister. Her sister looked up all the symptoms and she came to me that night. She said, Mom, she has every single one of them. And it was then that we knew this was not good. Um, we were basically sat down and told, your daughter has Lephora disease. And Lephora disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. Your daughter has 10 years. And that's not something you ever want to hear as a mom. We asked, are there any treatments? They said, no. Are there any clinical trials? No. Are there, is there anything, anything at all? And I remember her dad came home and he found a foundation called Chelsea's Hope, um, Lafora Children Research Fund. And we started looking into that. We started this journey of just trying to give her the best life I can give her. I got very involved um, with Chelsea's Hope. I'm on the board there now. Hopefully help with finding a treatment and a cure for Anissa and also all the other children that are afflicted with this horrible disease. She's like one of about 83 around the world, not just the United States. And so there's no funding. It's just something that's just so rare that a lot of people don't even know about it. The hope is that one of these treatments is going to help Anissa. For whatever reason, this is the life that I've been given. God's put me on a path. And my job is to give her and take care of her the best I can. And you know what? The crazy thing is that there are gifts and little nuggets of wisdom and learning and growth that has happened to me as a mom and as a person that's sad to say that wouldn't have happened, you know, had life been normal for us. I will tell you that if I could just keep her right here, I'm like, God, I can, I can do this. I can do, I know what to do with this. It's, it's our new norm and um, it's not the dream I had for her, but as her mom, I can do this. So Krista and I met each other in junior high uh, and we became just instant friends. We've been through a lot together. So if there's somebody who knows me, um, this makes me cry too, but somebody who knows me more than anybody else, it'd be Kristen. 91 is when Kristen and I met and then we had a, we got engaged in a short period of time and then married a couple years later. And when we had to pay it forward in the past, it's like just naturally came to me to say, hey, I want to help out. She was right there helping me try to pick up the pieces, trying to console me. She has cried for Anissa, she has prayed for Anissa, she has tried to help make things fun for Anissa. She'll come over here and tap dance with Anissa, and we turn on some music from 2010, and we'll just have dance parties, just to make life fun for Anissa. Today she's not in a wheelchair and she's still talking, but we don't we just don't know. Every day, she's always going backwards. You know, when you're a mom and you first have a baby and all the milestones going forward, the thing I realized with this disease is you're watching them, you're watching them go backwards. And at the very end, you lose them. And so it's a horrible, horrible disease. It truly is. I shared your story with some people at the bank and in the mortgage division. I wanted to give you this check for 
$44,150 to help with whatever it can help with. So, I know it's tough and hopefully this would can help. Thank you. It's definitely gonna help. I just appreciate your friendship so much. Oh, yeah, and I just... appreciate all the times that you have, you know, when you first started with the Pay It Forward, you've given Anissa and me opportunities as a single mom to give her some experiences. I mean, obviously this, it's gonna help. It's gonna help get her treatment. It's gonna help, hopefully give her some hope.